Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can create extrusions in the Generator Sheet Metal Design Workbench in Kitchen 5. So to start off, I'm going to open up a Generator Sheet Metal Design Workbench and I'm going to create a base wall. So before that I need to set the sheet metal parameters. So I'm setting up the sheet metal parameters and I'll create a base wall. So I have a base wall here. Now I need to create an extrusion. So the extrusion tool is used to extrude an open sketch drawn on an existing wall. To do the extrude you need to choose the extrusion tool first. So to choose the extrusion tool you have two options. So in the wall toolbar you have an option to extrude. So this is the extrusion tool or you go to insert walls extrusion tool. So select the extrusion tool and you have a couple of options over here which I'm going to explain you now. <coughs> so you have an option to select the profile. So you have either option to sketch the profile So make sure whatever sketch you're going to do it's an open sketch. So for the time being I'm just giving a normal sketch here and you can see that uh, the uh, extrusion is being done over here. So you have a couple of options over here that is uh, the limit 1, the limit 2, the uh, mirror extend, automatic bend, explode mode and uh, fixed geometry and the what do you call the sketch at the middle position by default the limit one dimension option is selected in the first drop down list and the limit two option is selected in the second drop down list of the extrusion definition dialog box therefore the wall will extrude normal to the base wall so as you can see here whatever extrusion it's going to be normal to the base wall so once you increase the limit to dimension it's going to uh, add a dimension on the uh, down portion over here you can specify the length of the wall to be extruded in the limit 1 and limit 2 direction by using length 1 and length 2 spinners that are available on the right of the first and second drop down list respectively to extrude the sketch in the limit 1 direction up to a selected plane or surface. Select the limit 1 up to plane or limit 1 up to surface option from the first drop down list which you can see over here. So once you select this as I have explained earlier you have an option over here to create plane. So I'm going to create a new plane here. So let's say the plane is at an offset of 34 here and you can see that the extrusion is happening uh, till the limit of the plane which I've created just now. So that's about uh, creating the uh, extrusion till the limit. You can do the same thing over here to create a plane here. Create plane and uh, select the XY plane. Pull it down and you can see that uh, the extrusion has happened till the uh, limit of the plane. And you have another option over here to uh, limit up to the surface. If you had a surface over here of any object, you could have uh, selected this and specify the surface for the software. And the software is going to select that particular, uh, what do you call the surface. So that's about uh, the limit of surface and plane. The option in this second drop down list are used to extrude the wall on the other side of the base wall. The automatic bend checkbox in the extrusion definition dialog box is selected by default. This checkbox allows you to create bends on sharp vertices of the sketch. As you can see over here, I had done a sharp vertices, sharp vertex sketch over here. So that was done in order to explain you that uh, the generator shape sheet metal design workbench already uh, accepts that particular sharp sharp uh, edges as uh, corners, bend corners, which we have specified in the beginning bend radius. And we have uh, another option over here uh, that is to mirror extend. The mirror extend is frozen over here because we have used the uh, plane option, that's the reason it's been frozen. So once I come back to the dimension option, you have an option to mirror extend and both of the dimension will be the same. So if you move it, if you increase and decrease, it's going to increase and decrease in the same manner on both sides. And you have an option to invert the material sides. So that's the same uh, as you go on through the complete 
different features of the sheet metal you have the same option this kind of option coming up so that's the invert material side so if you see it from the top you will be able to understand how invert material side works so as you, if you see it from the top and if you invert the material side as you can see my sketch is over here so it's getting inverted in both of this direction <coughs> so and uh, the last option uh, that is uh, you can change uh, the direction of uh, now if you want to uh, in if you want to keep your own k factor and if you want to specify your own tiers you have an option over here you can click on the more option and you can specify uh, the tiers and uh, the k factor so that's about uh, the basics of uh, the extrusion definition dialog box and the extrusion tool which is coming in the generation metal design workbench in ktm5 so hope you enjoyed my video keep watching thank you so much